All right, good people. I want us to look at engineering drawing uh, 2024, March, the day 26. So I want us to look at, we've done this one, we've done this one. I want us to go straight to question four. Question four now. No, question five. Sorry, it's not four. We've done with four. Question five. If which is isonometric, so these are the views. So, the very first thing that you have to do go through the views, analyze them. So, these two views are given in what in first angle orthographic projection, hence, this is N1. We do not have third angle orthographic projection in N1. So, we are given the front and the top. So, what is below on the other one is the what is the top. So, which means on your top view when you view this you have to see something of this nature yes so these hidden details there by your front view they are symbolizing this one you understand let me try to zoom it out a bit for you yes so this is what we have so let's see what is the question saying so it's read as follows uh, figure 5 below shows two primary views of an object. So do not redraw the given views. They like to say that. But draw to a scale of 1, of 2 is to 1. An isonometric view of this object. So we know the scales. We've got 1 is to 1, 1 is to 2, 2 is to 1. So which means we are here, we are going to make it bigger. We are going to multiply every dimension with 2. You understand? So now let's start. And we know what is the ruler. This ruler at this, this one, 45 degrees square. You throw it away. We do not use this one here. So we, you need the 60 and the 30 degrees set square so now you be always advisable to start where bottom of your drawing sheet isn't it so i'll decide to start here just draw a horizontal faint line i hope you can see my faint lines i hope you can see my faint line clearly then from there i draw a perpendicular line against it which is this one after I've threw it <clears throat> at this point where they are perpendicular to each other I am going to put this angle 30 at an angle of 30 degrees clockwise direction and another one at an angle 30 anti-clockwise direction so like this we go so we are given the front and the, the top so all the dimension that i am going to jot i am going to take them right from my front view has to be expressed this side okay and uh, the left view is going to come out for itself then the left view it is going to come out for by itself so i hope you can see my faint line so what i've drew so far is supposed to be drawn faint what I've drawn so far is supposed to be drawn faint. So these three lines that I've drawn far, they supposed to be drawn faint. Okay, so now what do I have? Uh, the set point P must be your lowest point. So we've got a point P here, which is this one. And there by your toe view is right there. So that point P, it is the one that I am going to... Or write it I'll say this point is point P yeah so point P so from point P going up from here from here going up I see a dimension of what of 16 millimeter have your calculator so do not forget the skill the set 2 is to 1 so which means we are going to multiply every dimension with two millimeter i mean yes two millimeter so 16 times two is 32 it's 32 which means 
from here going up I'm going to measure 32 millimeter Thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two 31 32 is right there so there is my 32 ending and what do I do I draw it dark all right so that's my 32 millimeter after I've gotten that line what I am going to do have this point at an angle of 30 degrees anti-clockwise parallel to this one and another one like this clockwise direction parallel to this one faint for now eh? so remember what we are drawing we don't know it but it, we are going to let it come out by itself then from there I see a dimension from here to here is the length isn't it from, uh, 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 and the, we know what the front view and the, the top view they will always share the same what length so which means from here point p coming this side is what is 70 70 a uh, uh, six millimeter so seven six seven six times two so it is going to be 150 150 Two millimeter. Where is my hundred and fifty two millimeter? Something big. There is my hundred and hundred and two. Yes, hundred and fifty two. There it is. So it's going out of my pitch. Let me start it. 